you raised to support um, Amendment Ever Kui, and Ever Talk to Mike Damara. And uh, again, I, I'm bemused, uh, intrigued, I suppose. Uh, Minister um, Deputy McNamara was mentioning how the foresight that Minister Bruton had. Well, Minister Bruton is around his house a long time. I think he's a uh, he's a and a tower and and and, and talk. But um, and why I'd love to know why Minister Try during his term changed uh, here. See, this is what intrigues me mostly about uh, what's going on with this government and, and and past governments, and you know they're able to be manipulated and. Um, with the first uh, the people here, we don't represent our people. Uh, if good enough, Spain can uh, legislate for this, uh, why can't we? With the dear side prices in, in Europe, if not further afield, gas, electricity, you name it, we talked when we made the breakthrough, we decoupled the wind, clean energy from the so called fossil fuel, we get a breakthrough. And many areas we we get breakthroughs. And Deputy Healy Ray referred to he did this question with the t shirt and he could only go back to 2021 20, about the price of fertilizer. There's agencies there, and there's, there's, there's watchdogs, and there's regulators, and there's a plethora of officials uh, watching all these areas. And what are they doing? Because if the farmer makes a mistake, or if the farmer has incorrect information or by, by accident, uh, not him, but by accident in, in, in his application forms, he's severely penalized. So it's time that. All the people are meant to carry the can if they make mistakes. And it's time that uh, this government, your government, especially Minister McConnell, Minister Hayden, um, defend uh, the farmers. Challenge, as we said earlier on, we talked about the, the, the beef barns, the, the, the feedlots, the big, the way that that has all diminished the small family farms and indeed has, has gone into such big, big, powerful entities and, and what's going on. Now we have it again here, uh, you know, with, with what's going on with the fertilizer. It's shocking. And I want to salute the small uh, suppliers as well, like the Pat Myers in, in South Tipperary and indeed in East Cork, and many others that are there. And, 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 and indeed, when farmers struggled with bad uh, springs and, and, and shortages of, of water, these small people, uh, they have the ethos now that the co-ops had, was set up to. The, South Tipperary farmers uh, didn't become Avon Moore, didn't become Glan B, and God knows how to kill law now, whatever it is. They're going off into multi, multi, multi billion industries. And they've forgotten where their roots were. They've forgotten where they came from. They, of the people, for the people, uh, to help the people. And with great leaders in farming areas like TJ Maher and even Joe Ray, who was a friend of mine, and many people like that, and other areas as well. So, I mean, and a farming organization, and they marched to Dublin, like the Mocker did here uh, today. So, what is wrong? Why, where is the, uh, the inertia in this government, and the last government, a number of governments, to uh, serve the people who are elected to, our ordinary citizens, and to try and get the best price for them. In this case, get the best price for the farmers for the, the cheap, the l l reasonable price fertilizers so they don't have to add on the price. We all know if you put up the oil, and you voted for it here last week, you voted to put up, put it back excise on, 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 on fuel prices again by up to 23 cents a litre by October. That's going to add up to more inflation. Sure, a kindergarten pupil in school would know that. And you vote blindly for it. And, and the teacher then was here yesterday asked the question that he expected oil prices to come down further. And he had to vote two nights before all his deputies to put it up. Or, or sorry, a week before. So I don't know what, what he expects. You're playing mind games with the people. So we need to assert, and we need to have governments and departments and the likes of Board B and the other agencies to serve the people that are set up to serve. No good in having fine fancy offices and regulators with a blast plate on the wall outside and fancy furniture and a nice title if they're toothless, useless and fruitless. And that's what they are, because they're not set up to tackle. It's a runaway train as regards the big supermarkets, as regards the, now the, 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 what used to be ordinary farmers cooperatives, now the multi-billion multi industries. And what they do in other parts of the world is more important than they're looking after the basic uh, farming, uh, family farm and only farm. It's not happening. And governments here should be, should be looking after our people. Why is it that fertilizer is cheaper in Northern Ireland and other EU countries? Why is it that the fuel is cheaper? Why is it that electricity is cheaper? Why is it that gas is cheaper? 
Why is it that we're the dearest in the class for everything? Why is that? Have we lost our will to live? Are we taking our instructions from other powers that are not elected to this house at all? Deputy Ray Milton, the citizens assembly, I won't even go there. Any kind of an issue you have now that you want to cloak and, 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 and confuse and, and subjugate, you set up a citizens assembly. Surprised there wasn't one call today for some other topic. We're talking about everything is into a citizens assembly. Handpicked people then, and uh, no proper representation by, the, by the, the sector that we're talking about. So, is any wonder the mocker came today with such dignity and such respect and such, uh, you know, a plea, an honest goodness plea, there wasn't a bad word among them, or any, any kind of uh, traffic blockades or anything else in the cooperation with the Gardaí, playing with the, with, the, with the mantra to be allowed to live in rural Ireland, to be allowed to have a fair living, to be allowed to, 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 to build houses, to be allowed to have the self-determination within the laws of the land, but not to be forced out of existence and literally squeezed out of business and exterminated and import all the, our food stuff there from all over the world. What about the carbon footprint there? Sure, I mean, the thing is, uh, is an upside down world that we're dealing with, upside down country, certainly what we're doing, to importing those kind of foods. And uh, we, we see every year, we see more and more and more, as Deputy McNamara said earlier, um, um, horticulture farmers and, and, and people uh, growing potatoes and growing, um, um, growing carrots and all those um, pastels, everything else, being forced out of business. And when they're all gone then, the, the, the low cost sellers, the, and I won't name them, but we know who they are, they charge what they like on imported food that sometimes is as dry as the bloody, and our ram's horn that was cut off a year ago and turned the butter to ditch. You couldn't eat it unhealthy, and the, and, the, and the carbon emissions that came off that and the transport of it to Ireland. So stand up, serve the people you're elected to serve, stop serving the big moguls. Thank you.